Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. In this video, we're going to be ranking all four Super Pockets. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to be having a look at the four Super Pockets and ranking them from least favourite to favourite. Now there is four available at present. We've got the Atari edition, the Technos edition, we've got the Taito edition and the Capcom editions from last year. I'm pretty sure Blaze will add to this collection at some point uh, through the next year or two. Um, but we've only got four at present. Obviously the Atari edition also comes in black and red if you've got that. It is basically the same. But that wood grain does look very cool. But which is my favourite? Which is my least favourite? We're going to start with my least favourite and I'll explain why. And then work my way through to my favourite. So in at number 4 is the Technos edition of the Super Pocket, by far easily my least favourite of the four released so far. Um, I'm not even a big fan of the colour scheme, I just found it a little bit light and sort of maybe a little bit drab. But it is what it is, that is obviously related to the Technos logo. But it's all about the games, and even the games don't really do it for me at all. I liked a few of them for sure, I really liked Double Dragon Game Boy um, version, and I liked um, sort of Blockout and Double Dragon Arcade and Combo Tribes. But overall, as a package, I just felt it wasn't anywhere near as good as the other versions. Even though it has a couple more games than the Capcom version, um, I just felt the quality just wasn't quite as good. Uh, and based on that, that it's definitely going to be my least favourite of the Super Pockets. Although I have to admit if you are a big Double Dragon fan you might even see this as your most favourite Super Pocket. Um, I like the way that they actually um, package this as being an arcade sort of machine but there's probably a lot more um, sort of console versions on this than there really should be but it is what it is um, I guess at the end of the day but there's some good games I loved Combo Tribes I think it's fantastic and it really looks nice on the Super Pocket but if you were asking me uh, if you were to pick one Super Pocket to purchase it definitely would not be this one unless you are a Double Dragon fan then this would probably be your first pick. Now this is definitely where it gets a lot tougher, and at number 3 is the Capcom version of the Super Pockets. If I was picking a colour scheme to be my favourite, this would be it. I love the yellow and that's a darker blue, it looks really nice, it's very very eye catching and stands out probably from even the, the Atari version of the Super Pocket in that wood grain, it definitely stands out, I love it. And, but it's all about the selection of games and... Even though I love some of these games and they look fantastic on the Super Pocket, I love playing Final Fight, the issue probably surrounds the fact that you can play these games in practically any system these days. You can get them on the Xbox, the Switch, um, and any sort of Anburnic device I guess you can go and play them on that. But it, they do look nice on the Super Pocket, they are a lovely sort of pick up and play. And as I said, you can probably play this on, on the original Evercade EXP if you have that as well. So. For a lot of people there probably wasn't any need to buy this version of the Super Pocket unless you obviously were entirely new to uh, the sort of Evercade sort of community then that's different altogether but personally it was a little bit of a letdown I really wish that maybe I went a different direction rather than creating another Super Pocket with the same sort of games obviously there was a couple different games that we haven't got on the Evercade EXP but I think Easily this is uh, in third place for me. I enjoyed it, but it's not anywhere near as good as the other two that are about to come up. So next up it's the Atari edition at number two. Now this was a really tough decision because the Atari edition um, probably has the best value uh, per game because it has 50 games pre-installed uh, on your Super Pocket which is just unmatched compared to the other Super Pockets available. It is way beyond even the Taito edition which has I think 18 games installed. Um, although a lot of the games are older style um, based on the 2600, the 7800, the 5200 uh, and maybe a slightly more modern uh, games included are from the Atari Lynx era but I still enjoyed a lot of these games because uh, I have obviously got nostalgia for the 2600 having had one uh, as my first console growing up. I love playing Berserk, I love playing Solaris and Yars Revenge and a few others besides. I loved um, sort of playing some of the newer, so I say newer, but the newer sort of games that we don't have on Evercade like um, the 
Warbirds game um, and Turbo Sub. They are both fantastic fun to play on the Super Pocket and they look great uh, on that screen, there's no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, if you were obviously a toss up between Super Pockets, I would choose either this one or the title one, which is obviously going to be number one. But this Atari version is fantastic, especially if you love those old style Atari games. Um, if you don't have any nostalgia for them, then maybe you might want to have a look at picking up the title one instead. But still, it's an excellent Super Pocket. Okay, so obviously my number one pick is Title Super Pocket. It has 18 pre-installed games. Um, and I think this is a great little Super Pocket. The variety of the games is brilliant. The classics are there. You've got Bubble Bobble. You've got some excellent platformers. You've got some older style games, some newer style games. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed practically every single game that was on here. Elevator Action, the fantastic football champ. Perhaps one of the best arcade football games ever. We've got Grill, which was a great beat em up. And um, we've got Liquid Kids, which is just fantastic fun. Um, we've got even Operation Wolf, which worked surprisingly well, even though we we don't have a light gun. You can also play your classic Space Invaders as well and obviously you've got Puzzle Bobble as well which is just one of the best games I think ever released on the Super Pockets yet. It works so well and the classic New Zealand story. Anyway guys that's my pick for number one. What do you think? How would you rank those uh, sort of Super Pockets? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.